Hi, everyone. Today is Friday, March 8, 2019. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, Utah. And this is the short version of the March water supply briefing. So let's get to it. And we'll look at precip anomaly. So when you look at the water year, October through January, this is what you see. Cooler colors indicate above average precipitation with most of the state at 110 to 130 percent precipitation. And this is October through the end of January. With some areas in eastern Utah in the range of 150 to 200 percent, but mostly we're doing well all the way around up to that point. And the reason why I break this out is look at February. February, through a great part of the state, was in that purple color, that's two to three hundred percent precipitation. With the rest of the state, roughly 150 to 200 percent precipitation. And when you put these together to say, where are we now from October when the water year starts through February, this is the picture that we see. Some of the lower areas are only 110 to 130 percent precip with greater amounts farther south. But where it counts in the mountains for February, <clears throat> It's in that 150 to 200 percent range in the northern mountains with down south we're at a 2 to 300 percent precipitation. Again when we look at the entire year October through February now we see a really good picture as far as precip goes 110 to 130 percent go farther south you go into the 130 to 150 percent and that's the water year as we stand now so it's doing really well. When you look at temperatures and this is critical because last year and some of the drier years, it's been warm, and we've gotten our precip in the form of rainfall due to the warm temperatures, and sometimes up to 10,000 feet it's rained. This year hasn't been that way. Uh, if you see that green colorization, it's right around 5 to 7 degrees colder than what you would anticipate, and that's, February, that's been in February, and that's exactly what you want. When you look at the meteorological winter, December, January, and February, what you see is a picture that's averaged to a little cooler than average, mostly throughout the western U.S. and even up into North Dakota where they had a really cold snap. But for us, this is what you want. Very cold, very wet. And we'll take it. So when you look at the snowpack on the ground as of today, average by basin, this is what the picture looks like. All healthy numbers, especially from last year. 2018 was the driest year we had on record in Utah. Now we're doing really quite well with the active weather pattern. 118% in the bear, and then you can see the farther south you go, the better it gets until you're at 174% the severe or 168% uh, down in the virgin. So doing quite well, 125 for Lake Powell, and that's also influenced by what's going on in Colorado. So when you put all of this together, here's our water supply forecast. And this is from the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center, part of the National Weather Service. We're all in the same office you see very healthy numbers. The lowest numbers are up in the Bear River drainage in the green. And you ask, why are these numbers lower? And it has to do with the dry soils that we have. Uh, we've had the driest year on record last year. We had an incredibly hot summer. The absence of rainfall has created very dry soils. That's the predominant reason. There's some other reasons in there, but that's the main reason why some of these numbers are a little lower than the snow numbers. And that's kind of the fact on a regular basis. But you go farther south, we're average to above average, and uh, we'll take it at this point. And we've still got an active weather pattern. I think that's key. We're not melting early. As of today, it's snowing right now, and we've got weather all the way out through the third week of March and maybe into April, and that's just what we need. So there you have it, a good hydrologic picture for Utah as of March. We'll take it, and then we'll see how this goes. I'll put another one of these out in April. There's also going to be a longer version, which is more technical uh, for some of the water users, so keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, this is Brian McInerney. There's my contact info. If I can do anything for you, let me know, but we'll go with that. See you.